8.05, please be on time. Continuing in Darachot HaMuktzeh, we were discussing that kelim, utensils that are permissible inherently, and a person is careful not to use them for other things because of their expense or because of their fragility, where they might easily break, then they are not considered to be muktzeh. However, there is one exception. If a person has merchandise that he's planning to sell, and he doesn't want people to touch it, he's very careful about it, even if it is something that is a Krishna Menach Etiv. For example, let's say he's selling uh, various coats, or he's selling various uh, uh, glass cups, and he doesn't want people to use it because he's afraid it might break, or even if he's selling something basic, like toys, and he doesn't allow people to use it, he's makpid, then nobody should take it and use it, only it's only for sale, that does have the status of muktzeh, and that is because he's designating it for the selling, for the merchandise to be sold uh, purposes. Uh, tomorrow we will discuss when it comes to food items that he's planning on selling, which has a different uh, halakha, but when it comes to merchandise, things, objects, uh, clothes, watches, jewelry, he's planning to sell, and he is makpid about it, so then it has the status of muktzeh. Of course, if he doesn't care so much about it, and he lets people use it in the meantime, so then it does not have the status of muktzeh, but we're talking about a person who does care, and therefore it is muktzeh, and it cannot be handled on Shabbat. Baruch Adonai Le'olah.